Hey, my name is Isaac David. Um, I have this YouTube channel, The Daily Disciple. I've been on YouTube about three years, and this is why I'm glad I never went viral. So, for the last three years, my main mission, I don't know, it was just like fueled by this desire to share God with people um, and online, and also because I, I've always been kind of entrepreneurial and I wanna work for myself and I wanna be able to be creative and, and use my talents for God. And so, I got on YouTube, and I got like my first video, I got like 30 views, probably less than that. 30 was like, oh my goodness, this is what people are watching. This is crazy. I remember thinking three years ago that if I got a hundred views on every video, like if when I put out a video, it would get a hundred views that my life would be like awesome. That like, that would be it. Like I could do a nice big checkbox right next to the YouTube section of my life because that was enough for me at that point. See, what I didn't realize at that point is that I would actually get to that point of a hundred views per video relatively quickly within the first, I don't know, couple months. But then from there, I started thinking, hey, look, like this is reaching a hundred people every like video and this is awesome and people are learning and they're responding to it and they're liking the content like man I, I, i'd like to like can you imagine getting 200 views so i've been watching a number of documentaries about famous people right they 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 rise to stardom maybe from an early age and they have all the money they could ever want and the fame the, all the fame they could ever want and people love them and every time they make something they put it out and people are like this is so awesome and like thousands and thousands of hundreds of thousands of people that's what they think about it right so for me as kind of a creative i'm seeing this and i and i've kind of like been on this mental track of kind of seeing these people and and in some ways kind of being jealous like wow like that's crazy that's so awesome they just put out something and they're able to you know make a living and not only make a living but like become rich but to me i'm just like i don't even care about being rich i just want to do it right i just want to live and be able to create stuff and so i saw these people but in a lot of these documentaries that i was watching it always kind of ends up that they are depressed and they're sad because they've accomplished what they wanted to accomplish so young in their life like uh, like it's like can you imagine accomplishing your greatest dream your greatest dream that you could ever have you accomplish at 20 true 22 you accomplish at 21 you accomplish at 25 the greatest dream, like the thing that as a kid or maybe as a teenager, you were like, if only I could get here and you did it and it wasn't enough and it wasn't enough and it wasn't enough on this journey. I'm thankful that I haven't got exactly what I wanted. I'm thankful that I didn't go viral. I'm thankful that, that at this point I still I'm still not there yet because that forces me to realize something fundamental and it's something that I'm still wrestling through and I haven't come to terms with it fully, but it's this, it'll never be enough. It'll never be enough. I'll never get enough views to, to, to be fully happy. I'll never be able to earn enough money where I will be satisfied. And I think I'll made it. I'll never get enough message where, where messages where, um, you know, I, I'll feel like I've made enough of an impact that won't happen. That won't happen. I won't get there. And as much as I say that now in my heart of hearts, there's still an aspect to where I have a legitimate goal in front of me. I want to do this full time. That's my dream, right? I don't want to become rich. I don't want to, I don't need to become famous. I just want to do this full time so I can dedicate all my effort, talent, and energy into doing what I love and doing what I think my mission is. But at the same time, right? Even if I get there and I, and I hope I get there, that is not the thing that's going to breathe life into me. That's not the thing that's going to satisfy my soul. Because I think a lot of us creatives and people that are ambitious or maybe type A's or have big dreams or visions for what they want their life to look like or certain benchmarks they need to reach. We say, well, once I'm here, then I will, then I'll, then I'll be good. Then I'll, then I'll be happy. Then I'll give my license, myself license to rest. I'll give myself license to, to, to be okay with me. 
But the thing is, the thing is, is that through Christ, through what he has done on the cross, through our reconciled relationship with him, we have access to satisfaction in him. But so often we are distracted by the things that we think will fuel us, the things that we think will satisfy us. But we're missing out on the all-satisfying, all-fulfilling, all-loving God who has, who has told us that through Him, through Him, we can rest. Through Him, we can, we can be okay with now, with just being. Because that's Him. That's Him. Who allows us to, to be that way, to rest, to the pressure can be released, that, that these benchmarks can now be a, a, a thing to be pursued in joy, not in duty, not in pressure, not in, not in obligation, not in a striving to find a license to be okay, to stop hating yourself. No, it's just joy. It's just joy because we are free. And so why am I glad I didn't go viral? Because I would have never realized that. Or at least it would have taken me a lot longer. Because, man, when you reach your goals so early, man, it takes a lot of your fight, your fight out of you, your, your, your steadfastness, your faithfulness, because I think, man, if you're going through something where you feel like, God, well, just give it to me now. I like, I've done all this stuff. Like in some ways I feel that way too. It's like, God, I've been grinding at this for three years. It's like, God's like three years. That's nothing. That's nothing. I got plenty to teach you. I got plenty to teach you. And maybe that's the same for you. You're like, God, I've been working so hard at this. And I just, can't you just give this to me? Can't you just give this to me? But imagine if God were to give you exactly what you wanted right now. Would that make you love him more? Would that make you focus on the, the, the important things, the good things, the, the most beautiful things? Or would it distract you? Would it make you miserable? Because I, I don't think God's dumb, guys. I think God is so genius where he knows what it'll do to us. He knows what perfect timing is like. So if you're in the grinding stage of whatever you're trying to achieve, or maybe you're in this kind of like in between stage where you're like, God, I, I just want to get married. I just want to have kids or I just want to like be, have a stable job. And I just want to like move on to the next stage. And you're in this place where you're like, God, just let me, let me on to that next place. I don't think God has you here like without a reason. He has you here purposely and I think he has me here purposely. So I'm thankful that I haven't gone viral because man, without because of it, I'm here. And this is exactly where God wants me to be. And you're exactly where God wants you to be right now. Now the key is, where's next? Where's next? So, we're going to be attentive to what he has to say in his word. We're going to be mindful to cut out distractions that are merely fueling our desire to get it now. Because it's not about now. It's not about getting it now. It's about following after what God has for us today. And wherever that leads, that'll be enough. That'll be enough.